I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry. It is me, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, and I'm so happy to be with you today. It is indeed another day that God has given us, and by God's special grace and God's mercy, we will keep on going and we will not stop. I tell you, my dear friend, we serve a good God. We serve a God and a Lord who loves us. We serve a God who never leaves us. And we serve a God who is faithful and true to his word. And I tell you, my dear friend, you can lean on the promises of God as outlined in the Bible and you will come out shining. You can lean on the promises of God in accordance with the word of God in your life, in your marriage, in your career, in your family, in your business, in your ministry, in whatever area that God has called you to be in. And you will come out shining. There may be trials, there may be ups and downs, but the end result, when you follow the word of God and you walk in his ways, is victory. The end result is success. My dear friend, I want to talk to you about something that is very, very important, and the title of my message is, We Can't Make It Without the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to be taking my reading from the book of Romans, chapter 8, from verse 26 to verse 28. It says, Likewise, the Spirit also helps us in our weaknesses, for we do not know what we should pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. Now, I want to read that one more time, and I want to reveal some revelations to you that will bless you. It says, likewise, the Spirit also helps us in our weakness. Now, the main reason why we need the Holy Spirit is He helps us in our weakness. I truly believe, my dear friend, we would never be able to make it in this race, in this life, without the help of the Holy Spirit. We as born-again believers would never be able to finish successfully without the help of the Holy Spirit. And this is why Jesus gave us the Helper, the Comforter, the Counselor, the Holy Spirit. This is why our body is His temple. And He is with you, He is in you. If you are born again of water and of spirit, if you are baptized in the Holy Spirit and in fire, you have the Holy Spirit and He is with you. Now it goes on and it says, For we do not know what we should pray as we ought, but the Spirit Himself, makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now, he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. Now, another thing we should know about the Holy Spirit, as revealed in this passage of Scripture, is sometimes we don't know what we should pray about. We don't know that there may be danger coming up. We don't know that there may be a trial coming up. We don't know that we may be in line for an attack from the devil. We don't know that there might be an accident coming up and he's trying to warn you and protect you from it. So he helps us in how we should pray. He warns us of things that are coming that we do not know about and encourages us to pray so that we can avoid them before they even come. God is so good. He has given us a comforter and a friend and a helper, the Holy Spirit. And we cannot make it in this life without Him. Furthermore, my dear friend, He makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. This is a deeper level of prayer and it is produced by the Holy Spirit alone. Because sometimes we need Him to pray on our behalf. Because our own prayers are insufficient to fill the gap. It is so important that we as born-again believers... Listen and follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Without Him, truly, we cannot make it. Now, how do you know the mind of the Spirit? How do you know the mind of the Spirit? This is so powerful and it's so important. You search your heart 
and you check that it lines up with the scripture or it does not contradict the scripture. Notice that it says, He makes intercession for us according to the will of God. And one thing that we all know, my dear friend, is the will of God is outlined in the scripture. If you want to go to another level, then follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Do you know why? Because this scripture ends by saying, And we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. If you walk in the purpose of God as led by the Spirit, God will cause all things to work together for your good, and you will go to greater glories. That destiny will work out. That purpose will work out. That marriage will work out. That business will work out. That career will work out. That job will work out. You will receive a job and you will receive better jobs because you are walking in accordance with the will of God and you love God. In saying that, take yourself or your device wherever you're watching me from and just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. I want to pray for you so that the Holy Spirit will just begin to lead you and that you'll become sensitive to His leading. It is so important in 2020 and beyond, that we listen to the leading and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We can only be successful as born-again believers in our purpose and in our destiny as we follow the leading of the Spirit. So in saying that, we're going to begin by praising God. And as we discern God's presence, then we'll begin to pray. And I trust, know and believe God is going to bless you and is going to take you up to greater glory. So in saying that, let us begin to praise Him. Praise Him in your own words. Father, we praise you. We thank you for another day that you've given us. We give you praise for the goodness and mercy that you release over us every day. We give you praise that today you're going to touch, you're going to heal, you're going to deliver, you're going to change. You're going to take my dear friend who's watching this video to a greater glory and a greater altitude in you. We give you praise and thank you that your word is alive. It is spirit and it is life. And through your spirit, he leads us in line with your word. We give you praise and thank you for the Holy Spirit. We praise you, Lord. Let all praise be given to where it is due, and that is to Jesus Christ. We lift up the name of Jesus today, even as we pray, both myself and my dear friend who's watching this video. We give you praise and thank you, Father, that you are touching my dear friend, and you are doing what only you can do. And today starts the beginning of change. Today starts the beginning of an adventure with the Holy Spirit, with my dear friend, that my dear friend will enjoy and that my dear friend will go to greater glories and that my dear friend will see true happiness. The meaning of true happiness is in connecting with you, Father. We give you praise and thank you for this. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence and I know like I know as we pray today, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin to pray. And uh, even as we go into a time of prayer, I want to encourage you to do three things. The first and the most important is welcome the Holy Spirit. Say this out loud. It's a very simple prayer. It's a one-liner. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come and touch me and help me to pray. Amen. In Jesus' name. The second thing that I want to encourage you to do, my dear friend, is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement, and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. The third thing, if you've got a prayer request and you want me to pray with you and for you, simply go to my website, go to www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and click on Daily Prayer List. Fill in your prayer request, click Submit. It's going to come through to me and I'm going to trust God with you. But in saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Wherever my dear friend is, I thank you that distance is not a barrier, time is not a barrier. Wherever my dear friend is, and whenever my dear friend will watch this video, I give you praise and I thank you that distance and time is not a barrier, and you are taking my dear friend to a greater level and a greater glory in you. Lord, release the grace that my dear friend will become sensitive to the leading and the guidance of your spirit. Release the grace that my dear friend will follow in line with your spirit and walk in line with your ways and walk in line with your will because we know that all things work together for the good of those who love and walk in accordance with the will of God. And we love you, Lord God, and we want to walk in accordance with your will. We give you praise and thank you that miracles are happening today. If my dear friend needs a miracle, let a miracle take place. If my dear friend needs healing, let healing take place. 
If my dear friend needs deliverance, let deliverance take place. Even as they get a new touch and receive a fresh infilling and baptism of the Holy Spirit right now. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. My dear friend, receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. If you have never been baptized in the Holy Spirit, but you've given your life to Jesus Christ, that is the prerequisite. You must give your life to Jesus Christ and you must be baptized. If you have not yet given your life to Jesus Christ, give your life to Jesus in accordance with the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 9 and you'll be blessed. And then receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit right now. Receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. May you burn with a fire that cannot be quenched, the fire of God. And may that fire burn all chaff, the chaff of the devil, the evil deeds and evil things of the devil. May your light shine bright and may the darkness be dispelled in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Until tomorrow, for myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.